this video, we're going to work through two examples where we're finding the average or mean of a set of numbers that involve fractions. So if you take a look at the top of our screen, we have the formula for finding the mean or the average, which says we just want to take the sum of the numbers and divide it by the number of terms. So let's jump into example one. And for this video, I'm going to be doing these problems by hand. So I'm going to be adding the fractions by hand just so we can practice adding fractions with different denominators. So what we want to do first is find the sum of these four numbers. So I like to add up all the whole number parts first and then add up the fraction parts second and then put those together. So I'm actually going to write that down. So we're going to do 4 plus 5 plus 7 plus 2. That's going to be our whole number part. And if we add these up, 4 plus 5 is 9, plus 7 is 16, plus 2 is 18. So we know our whole number part so far is 18. And then we're going to have to add up the fraction parts. So we have 3 fourths plus 7 eighths plus 1 half plus 3 eighths. And remember, when we are adding fractions, we have to make them have a common denominator. So the least common denominator of 2, 4, and 8 is going to be 8. So 3 fourths is going to become 6 eighths. 7 eighths can stay as it is. 1 half will become 4 eighths, and 3 eighths can stay as it is. And now we're going to add the numerators. So 6 plus 7 is 13, plus 4 is 17, plus 3 is 20. So we get 20 on the top, and we have 8 on the bottom. And now I'm going to change this into a mixed number so that it's easier to add to our whole number part. So 8 goes into 20 two times, and 2 times 8 is 16, so we have 4 left over. So we have 2 and 4 eighths, which simplifies to 2 and 1 half. So now to find the overall sum of our numbers, we need to add 18 plus 2 and a half. And 18 plus 2 is 20. So we get 20 and 1 half. And now what we're going to have to do is divide that by the number of terms. So down here on the bottom left, we need to do 20 and 1 half divided by our four terms. And we're going to switch 20 and a half back into an improper fraction to divide because I think that's easier. So we're going to multiply 20 by 2, which is 40. Add the 1 on top to get 41. Keep our denominator as a 2. And we need to divide this by 4. Remember, when we're dividing fractions, we need to use keep, change, flip. So we're going to keep 41 over 2, change division to multiplication, and flip 4. So 4 is normally 4 over 1. So when we flip it, it becomes 1 over 4. And now let's just multiply straight across. 41 times 1 is 41. 2 times 4 is 8. So we get 41 over 8. And if we want to change this back into a mixed number, we can do that. 8 goes into 41 5 times. 5 times 8 is 40, so we have 1 left over. So we get our average, or our mean, as 5 and 1 8. Let's go through one more example. So for the second example, I encourage you guys to pause the video and try it on your own. And then you can watch me work through it to make sure that you've solved it correctly. So for this example, I'm going to add these a little bit differently. So what I notice is that 5 sixths and 5 and 1 sixths will add together really nicely to create some whole number, right? Because 5 sixths plus 1 sixths is a whole. So I'm going to add those two first. So I'm going to write that here. So let's write sum. So I'm kind of going to do this in parts. So 5 sixths plus 5 and 1 sixth. We know our whole part is 5. And then 5 sixths plus 1 sixth is 6 sixths. So we get 5 and 6 sixths. And we know that 6 sixths is just 1. So this is really like 5 plus 1. So this becomes 6. And now I'm going to add the other four numbers. So we're going to add 3 and 2 thirds, 4 and 1 ninth, 1 and 2 thirds, and 2 and 5 ninths. So let's go ahead and write those down, and then I'll add the whole number parts separately and the fraction parts separately. So I'm going to keep them as mixed numbers, and I'm going to change all of their denominators to be 9, because that's the least common denominator between 3 and 9. So 3 and 2 thirds is going to become 3 and 6 ninths. 4 and 1 ninth can stay as it is. 1 and 2 thirds becomes 1 and 6 ninths. 
and two and five nines can stay as it is. And now what I'm going to do is add up all the whole number parts. So three plus four is seven, plus one is eight, plus two is 10. And I'm going to add all the fraction parts. So I'm going to add the numerators. Six plus one is seven, plus that six is 13, plus that five is 18. So we get 10 and 18 ninths. And this is really the same as 10 plus 18 ninths. And 18 ninths simplifies to 2, right? So this is really 10 plus 2. So we get 12. So we get that the sum of 5, 6, and 5 and 1, 6 is 6. And we get that the sum of the remaining numbers is 12. So the total sum is 6 plus 12, which is 18. And now to find the average, we have to divide that by how many terms we have. Well, we started with six terms. So to find the average, or the mean, we're going to take our sum of 18, divide it by our six terms, to get an average or a mean of 3. So you guys could have just added these fractions the way we did in number 1, but sometimes it's nice to see if there's a way you can add them a little bit more quickly, because adding fractions does take a bit of time, especially if the denominators are different. So hopefully this video helped you guys understand how to find the average or mean of fractions. Just remember, it's the same as finding the average or mean of just regular numbers. You just have to deal with fractions, so you have to make a common denominator.